Hi guys, uh, today I bring you Gloof Tower. So this is for 200 plus Paladin, but I will mention that if you're not that experienced with the game and you don't have best in slot equipment, maybe go for 250. This is because um, the monsters here deal a lot of damage, especially the Gloof Golems, they can really hurt. Uh, so you have to be a little bit careful. I, I started here around level 200. Uh, I died once between 200 and 250 while doing my full beast cherry. However, I died because um, a five star influenced monster and the glue goal and spawn. I didn't even notice and he just came and just joined the box and just smashed me. Uh, but outside of the influenced monsters, I was actually, I was actually okay here. But if you're not that comfortable with Paladin just yet, then maybe a level 250 plus. Uh, and I just have the familiar results here. I didn't, I, for some reason, I don't have the non-familiar ones. It's, it's a little bit worse, but it's not nothing major. Uh, so raw experience you can expect is somewhere around 1.7kk per hour, which is about 2.9kk on 150%. And uh, the loot is somewhere around 200k per hour, which is pretty decent. Uh, although ultimately this is a bestiary spot. Once you finish the bestiary, you're probably not really going to be coming back here. Anyway, the difficulty I give it is 7 out of 10 around this level. Like I mentioned, the Gloof Golems deal a lot of melee physical damage. So uh, do be careful not to get boxed by like 8 Gloof Golems because it might be a little bit too difficult at this level. With regards to Beast Jerry, it's about three hours for Devourer, Gloof Golem, and Rust Heap Golem. Uh, I haven't mentioned the Rot Elemental because it's not really worth doing here. Just do the Rot Elementals on Ormond West, uh, like everybody else. With regards to requirements, like I mentioned, level 200 plus at least, you don't actually need any access quests. You can just go straight to Oramond and access this place. Uh, this place can effectively be hunted by knights and paladins. Knights also around level 200, 250. Um, recommended imbuements, everything standard. Prioritize physical protection followed by energy protection. If you don't care about waste and you just want to do a bestiary, prismatic ring is definitely something to consider. It will definitely make this place a lot easier. With regards to supplies, uh, approximately 1400 great mana potions per hour, 5 ultimate spirits, about 1300 diamond arrows and 600 avalanches. Now you will not have enough capacity to do this, so usually you will probably do about 30 minute refills, something like that, um, because you'll run out of capacity. So just keep that in mind, that not to bring actually 400 great mana potions, because you won't be able to have, uh, well, you won't have that much capacity. With regards to charms and wheel, nothing to really worry about at this level yet, as nothing important is there. And the character in the video, um, are, you, you will see as level 243 Paladin with 120 distance and 28 magic level. Uh, and for the route, I don't have anything here because it's so basic. It's basically just six. It's a, it's a huge tower. I think there's like six levels or five levels. You just go up and down, up and down, up and down, up and down. I would not be able to draw it out properly here. So I just recommend if you want to see exactly where I take the boxes and how I move, do make sure to just watch the video and check check out every level that I do. But it's just too hard to draw it out here, so I'm going to skip this part. But basically just going up and down the tower and then running back down. Pretty simple. Anyway, that's what I have for you today, guys. Thanks for watching, and I'll play the video now, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye.